Welcome to another Darktable tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to use the color mapping module, which will let us take an image. This is just like a JPEG image I just downloaded from Pixabay, and it has a certain look to it, but we can use the color mapping module to kind of map similar colors uh, in certain images. So these are all just original images for the most part. They haven't been edited, at least not in Darktable. They probably have been edited to kind of achieve this look, but we don't have the history stack. So if ever we want to kind of repl replicate a certain look, we can do that using the color mapping module. So under more modules, we just go down, it's in alphabetical order, so we find color mapping, which is this one right here, and we click it and it enables it up top here. And so now this is the color mapping module. And we see it's already, I'm not sure if it's grabbing this or if this is from what I was using last time, but if we get something maybe like this one, we go back to the original of this and see what it looked like, we can choose to acquire a source or acquire a target. And it's called acquire, but really it's putting the, the colors onto a target. But when we do acquire source, it'll grab whatever we're looking at at this current level of history, and it will just acquire. If we have it set up for three, it'll grab three different areas of colors, and it has them like from light to dark. And so it grabbed the red from this car and the rims over here. It grabbed some of the greens and yellows from the plants, and it grabbed some of these blues and grays from, from around two. And so if we wanted to apply this look to another image, say maybe this image here, we would just have this image loaded in, and then we go to acquire as target. And what that'll do is attempt to put these colors over top of this image. So it took just a second to do that, some processing, but now we see it's using these colors and it's finding similar colors uh, that, that kind of correspond and it's applying them. So we see it didn't change the white at all, but it did change the look of this. So if we disable this, we can see how it looked like before and after. Oh, I guess it did change the white. It darkened some of the whites. Some of the grays in the whites were darkened. Let's look at another example. And this one I was doing earlier, I did five targets. So let's, let's change it up again, or five clusters. So I'll set up to five because I kind of want to get the blues, the yellows and oranges, and then some of these dark dark grays and also some of the light grays. And so, or the, the shades, whatever they are, blues, shades of blue. So I'll click acquire as source and we'll see this source acquired here. And then I'll go to an image that I've done of clouds. This one here, which is for the most part unaffected. Let's put it back down there. And so this is just my kind of more or less raw image and I'll just go acquire as target. And it'll probably make it look pretty similar to that other picture. So there we go, we see a lot more oranges in the skyline, a lot more purpley uh, in the top. We don't get as many as much of that blue, we get a lot more purple, just because of what it in interpreted this picture as having. But again, we can kind of change that a little bit, um, kind of the shadows a little bit on there, I guess I would say. Uh, and then also this color dominance just makes it kind of like saturation or how strong the colors are. And so we can leave that up there. So that's not too bad. Not as good, but then again, it's a good starting point for the colors at least. So it looks a lot um, more interesting than it did before at least. We have those colors to work with and then we can apply modules on top of this um, to get the look we want. So play around with that color mapping module. It's a good tool to have. And sometimes you'll just want to, uh, yeah, without having to go through and, and grab a certain look of an image, you can just very quickly, you know, copy it, acquire it as target. And if nothing else, you can kind of analyze and see what those colors are. It helps you break out and be like, oh yeah, that is more of a yellow than a green. And it can kind of help you interpret the colors of an image. So a great module. And I think I've gotten to the end of what I can teach you in Darktable. You may have even noticed that. Uh, there's lots of resources you may have encountered already uh, here on YouTube and all over the internet, um, teaching how to use some of these different modules specifically and diving deeper than we've gone in this tutorial series. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this series here. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, as I come across new techniques uh, or interesting new features in Darktable, uh, I'll go ahead and, and add to this series. But for now, I think I'm gonna move on to another video series. So thanks for watching, really appreciate you uh, sticking with this tutorial and hopefully you've learned something and I look forward to catching you in some future videos.